What's going on YouTube and for today's video I want to go over a couple things that I don't really necessarily agree with or absolutely in love with my rally art. So without further ado, let me go ahead and discuss those with you. And just behind this tree, there she is. Again, I'm in my little secluded area just because it's quiet, it's private, and I just like the lighting out here, honestly, to be completely honest with you. And the little backdrops, but let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. Right there. This is my first complaint about the rally art is it is not a stick, all right? And you, I'd be okay with it, but the thing is, Mitsubishi, they failed to uh, go ahead and make it an option. So the rally art, if you guys want an all-wheel drive turbo car, this is the only one you can get from Mitsubishi and they only provide it in the twin clutch SST. Don't get me wrong, very good transmission, but maybe if you guys want a five-speed car like I did and they just don't have one. So you can drive it like it's a manual, basically, just without the clutch. Uh, I always drive it, I'll bring it down, bring it over, and go up and down gears. And they also have the little paddle shifting, which is also available in your higher luxury cars, like Ferraris and all that, but just not as fun, you know what I mean? So that's complete number one. Number two is gonna have to be these seats. They're not Recaro's, they're just basic little Lancer seats, and I know it looks like super dirty in here, which it is, but not, nothing too crazy. So they're not bucket, and for two, they're old school, and you gotta pump these things every which way you wanna go. Um, yeah, not too ideal. If you're gonna pay almost $25,000 for one of these, you'd have some kind of a better trim for that. But they do do the job for the most part. Um, I'm a bigger guy, so it does keep me in my seat for the most part. One more other thing that I hate about it is this right here. This is a complete waste of space. If I open it up, it's basically a little spot to hook, put some ID cards maybe. This looks like it used to hold USBs. However, in this car, the USB, it's actually located in here and in a weird spot where to go. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you can see it. The USB is held up there. So what are you supposed to do is smash your cable and run it along. So that's another flaw. Just a waste of space in here. My other Lancer, this was pretty much all open. And then you open up the second one, you can put some change in there, and it's got your uh, electrical outlet. So just a big waste of space in here, and no common sense when it comes to uh, using it. So that is another complaint. Another thing that sucks about our car is the gas mileage. So, right there, average, 15 miles per gallon. So typically, if I'm on the highway, going 55 through 80, I'll probably get about 22 to 23 miles per gallon, which isn't the worst for a turbo car, but could definitely be better. So that's another thing that kind of draws a flaw towards our cars. All right, for the rest of the stuff that I hate about my car, we have to go ahead and step outside. First being first is the paint Mitsubishi uses. So not the paint color I'm talking about, but I'm talking about the actual quality because the paint color itself, I'm actually in love with. But I'm talking about the quality. Um, let me see if I can find some for you. But this paint chips really easy, fades really easy. And I can speak from experience because when I had my Lancer, I had a rally red Lancer and the top up here the clear coat would go very easily so that's just one thing and I know some other Mitsubishi guys out there as well and the paint just doesn't hold up like it should so that is another downfall of this car and the last couple little uh, tidbits on what I don't like about my car has already been fixed one of them is the wing so usually the rally will come with the GTS low-rise wing. I already swapped it out with the Evo X. And then if you walk towards the front, the intercooler as well. Um, the rally comes with a baby intercooler, doesn't really serve its purpose. Uh, heat soak gets pretty bad on this car. So I went ahead and swapped it out with an Evo X as well. Same thing with the blow-off valve. Let me go ahead and pop that hood for you. The blow-up valve for the rally art was an actual little black piece of plastic. So I upgraded that. 
So I did my intercooler and I also did the blow-off valve, which is now a steel Evo one. So I guess what I could say is the cheap performance parts that the rallier gets compared to what an Evo would have. So this is also an Evo uh, intercooler pipe. Rather, it was basically the same material, just a little bit smaller in diameter. While talking about performance parts, brakes might be on there as well. Um, not the best in the world, but they do definitely do the job. Um, they're not branded or anything. I believe they're the same ones that are on the Outlander Sports. As you can tell, those are colored on mine. Painted them in orange, as that's going to be my color scheme. And one of the last few little things I don't like about my rally art is annoying beeps. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the car real quick. So you get all these beeps. Pretty annoying. After all those beeps are gone, like say you want to go check the mail, you got your key fob in your pocket, you need to step outside, shut your door, and there, you're gonna, there it goes. More annoying beeps. That's pretty much all the different flaws and things that I dislike about my Reller. All right, as you guys can tell, change of scenery. My camera died, so if you guys are ever gonna pick up YouTube or just document things for yourself, always charge your batteries. So we went somewhere yesterday, I won't tell you where, but we went somewhere yesterday and I failed to uh, go ahead and charge this camera. But lastly, what I wanted to go over with you was my trunk space. All right, so when I'm talking about the trunk, I'm talking about the space itself. Um, it's actually pretty good for your average car, but when I owned my Lancer, I had two 12, two 12 inch boxes back here, which fit. So when I traded my Lancer and got this car, I tried to transfer it over into here and I couldn't. It just wasn't big enough. I think mainly the, the main reason is just because the all wheel drive system is a lot bigger and you lose your trunk space. But on the plus side, I do have room. The Evo, I know they have their uh, their batteries located back here. And quote me if I'm wrong, but they also don't have a spare tire back there. So that is one more uh, little piece of information on why I dislike my car. It's just some trunk space. It could be a little bit bigger, but not too flawed. So that's that. Just a couple little uh, patches from work. That's a couple of reasons why I dislike. I know a lot of you guys like to say, oh, five reasons why I love and hate my vehicle. But I can't say I'd hate anything on my car. It's more of a dislike. So other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the five things or a couple of things that I love about my car because that is sure to come. And that is in the regards of the 2015 Lancer Rally Art. So yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.